Hi Tiger fans and welcome to Raw Vision Review, coming to you live from St Kilda Beach and Axel, oh, before I say that, joining me today is uh, Tiger midfielder Nathan Foley. Axel, we're here at St Kilda Beach and if there's one thing that I don't miss about football, it's getting in there, 11 degrees, Melbourne, in the water, tell us why you're down here. Yeah, it's all about recovery, Brownie. So we're down here this morning. We get down to the sea baths a bit. We uh, hop in the hot water and then jump out in the beach, unfortunately. And it looks a bit choppy out there today, so um, no doubt it's going to be cold. So do you get in there, well, what do you wear, the Speedos uh, type setup? Yeah, we do get the Speedos on, club policy to get the Speedos out and um, yeah, jump in the water, so not much fun. No, nah, not at all, but a uh, very important part of recovery. The weekend, a great win against Essendon. Uh, dream time of the G. They were a top four side, but you got over the line. Yeah, it was. It was a fantastic win. It was um, good to put four quarters together. We uh, finally got a first quarter uh, win, I think, on the board, which has taken a long time. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a great performance uh, and just consistent across the game. Playing in front of 83,000 people, a lot of the young kids wouldn't have played in games like that. You've played in round one against Carlton a few times where you get 80,000. But tell us what the atmosphere is like out there for those young kids. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. It's always a uh, it's a huge game. Dream time at the G, and um, again on on Saturday night it was uh, it was great. Certainly running back to the middle um, when Essendon was sort of coming back in the last quarter, you really noticed the crowd. It was um, it was certainly rocking the stadium. So uh, it was a fantastic experience for um, for especially Reese Conker and Jake Batchelor and all these sort of blokes. You've beaten Fremantle at home. Now you've beaten the Bombers, who are both in the top four. There must be a fair bit of belief building in that group and some confidence. Yeah, there, there certainly is. We're, um, we've, we've put in some really good performances in games. Uh, we haven't been consistent across all the games, but um, certainly played some good footy at times and, and we're sort of starting to believe that when we play that good footy, we can match it with anyone in the comp. As you can imagine, Damien Hardwick was pretty pleased with the four-quarter effort and here's what he had to say after the game. The Belief. That, that moment where they, they, they believe they can win when challenged like that. Yeah, I Look, it's a big factor. It's one of the principles we, we go by, and, and Chris Newman's been really hard in his leadership group in, in driving that. You know, the belief in in what we're doing, the the belief in the game plan, the belief in each other, and you know, Chris too. He's you know he's an outstanding leader in that regard, and you know he drives a lot of that stuff. You know, as a coaching staff, we just you know really hand it over to the players on game day, and they they deliver the results, which is um, you know it's been a fantastic and a really valued four points for us. It was another really good performance from a young, exciting midfield. Uh, how did you th think you stacked up against the Bombers in the midfield? Yeah, we, uh, I don't think we ended up winning the clearances, but overall I thought we uh, performed quite well across the midfield. Um, Koch obviously got the, the boomerang. Dustin Martin was fantastic again. Um, Reese Conker come through and played some great footy in there also. Speaking of Reese Conker, he was uh, the rising star for this week. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, he's uh, very well deserved. He's, he's slotted into AFL football quite comfortably. Reece, um, I think one of his greatest strengths is how he uses the ball. He's, uh, he's one of those players that seems to have a lot of time when he gets the ball and always makes the right decision, so very well deserved. Big Andrew Brown, he played uh, his first game back in 2009, didn't play another one for a long time. I think it was his fifth game all up, but he really competed hard. You said you lost the clearances, but I thought he was fantastic. He was fantastic, Brownie. Brownie, he was. <laughs> um, so he's, uh, he's been in great form at VFL level and um, grabbed his opportunity with two hands. And like you said, he just competed so well. And um, there was numerous occasions where he dove on the ball, which uh, probably wasn't his ball to win, but he made a contest of it. Skipper Chris Newman and a man with a, an extraordinary beard at the moment spoke to the news and the press after the game. And here's what he had to say. Here with Chris Newman in the rooms after the game. Uh, how good to play in a win like that, Chris? Uh, yeah, it was huge. I said, uh, I said to a few of the boys, I thought that that was you know, probably one of the better wins I've, I've ever been involved in, and um, particularly because it was a real grind and uh, a big effort required from the boys in that last quarter when they, when they come at us. But um, to the boys' credit, they, they dug deep, and uh, there was a lot of exhausted boys after the game, so it's a really good sign. Tell us about the atmosphere and the crowd and, and the, uh, the occasion. Huge. Um, I thought there'd be a big crowd, but uh, certainly not that big. So uh, the Tiger supporters are getting behind us, and, and uh, I think it really does make a difference uh, in the end. And uh, yeah, hopefully we give them a, a bit more success. There was Chris, uh, skipper Chris Newman speaking to Newey. He led from the defence really well, 27 touches, got a lot of the ball. He also kicked the goal, but him leading that defence along with Rancy, I thought his best game for the club, McGuan, and a few other blokes with a run and carry out of there. It's a, it's a solid unit. 
It is. The, uh, the back line was sensational on the weekend. I think they won contested football and, like you said, knew he's a real general down there and um, he's one of those blokes that you just want to have the ball in his hand. He uses it so well and um, you always feel safe when he's got it. Spread of goal kickers is very important. Uh, you're not relying on Jack to kick seven or eight to win the game. He did his job, kicked four, played well. They also had a spread of goal kickers down there and it just makes it so much easier if uh, you don't have to rely on one avenue. Yeah, it does. And, you know, Tyrone Vickery's been fantastic down there this year. And um, Jake King, Robin Nahas have also chipped in really well. So it's um, the forward line units working, uh, working really well at the moment. Robbie Nahas was good, particularly after half time. But Jake King, he started the game really well. Can you talk us through when he could have won the game and iced the game, decided to run around a second play, but just fell flat on his face? Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I was at the other end of the ground at that stage and wasn't sure what he was doing. He uh, tripped over his own feet, so I'm not sure what he was uh, up to there. And he got little leg Jake King. He stands at about 180 centimetres. It'd be very surprising to you, but he has very, very small legs and a big long torso. So that's where he falls down in life is uh, his little midi bidget legs, Jake King. But uh, look, going away for the next three weeks, you're on the road, Port Adelaide up in Darwin this week. The boys enjoy getting away and it's a real opportunity to get together. It is. It's, um, yeah, we love getting away together as a group. We uh, generally perform quite well uh, in away games, so um, looking at it as a, as a great opportunity and um, fantastic. With such a young list, it's fantastic to get away and get to know each other uh, even more. Well, Axel, thanks for joining us on Raw Vision Review and good luck this week and for the rest of the year. Thanks, Brownie. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you tune in again next week for Raw Vision Review and go the Tigers.